As chefs, layering flavors is a key component of what you do every day. For your quick fire challenge, we want you to create a dish inspired by these layers. This is a dessert challenge. <laughs> we want to see a layered dessert. You can make a cake, you can make tiramisu, as long as it has at least three layers. We want you to take inspiration from these existing flavors to create something new. And because these gelatos are slow cooked for 45 minutes, you'll also have 45 minutes on the clock. Please keep your cool, because your time starts now. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> oh, good. I can probably eat this entire thing. It reminds me of a Buckeye. Hey. Oh, yeah. What are you making? I'm going to make a cream puff with uh, grilled strawberries. Damn. Like, I don't know how these are going to turn out. I'm going to do my play on a peach cobbler. I'm going to do a sweet corn whip. That sounds beautiful. Look at that. You look like a scientist, dude. Yeah, it's my, uh, it's my persona this time. <laughs> my approach is to be able to get three layers in one bite. I have a shard the science guy. Where I'm from, Columbus, Ohio, uh, the state dish is called a buckeye. Peanut butter that's dipped in chocolate. It's, I swear it's not for show. I swear it has a reason. It's uh, almost like a slightly liquidy explosion of peanut butter in your mouth when you when you bite into it. It sounds awkward. Brittany, what are you making? Gingerbread trifle with rum. I normally put beer in it, but we didn't have any, so. Byron, what are you making? Like a take on a baklava, goat cheese ice cream with some pistachios, a date jam. Sounds good. Maria, what you doing? Arroz con leche with a twist. My game plan is to make little balls so they can freeze, and then I can fry them with panko. Look at that timing! Ah! Think under my feet. Think on my feet. I don't like making dessert because it takes time. You have to measure things. I like to go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Stir it up. <laughs> Anyone have the smoker? The dish that I'm baking is a hazelnut cake with a blueberry and pinot noir puree, chanterelle mushroom cream. What are you making with the liquid nitrogen? Uh, attempting to do a uh, sorbet, a lime sorbet. Ten minutes, guys! The rice is not frozen. Stretch the sh Not the most beautiful cream puffs I've made. That's incredibly impressive. Thank you. My cream did not cool enough for me to be able to properly whip it. I need another layer and decide to make a pie crust. Ugh. Chef's a minute and a half left. Order hot. I am running this down to the wire. Using liquid nitrogen is a time sensitive process. If it's too cold, it'll just rip your taste buds right off. And uh, that is not a good way to win anything. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Hands up. Brittany, please bring up your dessert. Tell us what you made. Rum gingerbread trifle? Mmm. With caramel apples and salted whipped cream. Tell me about your cookie. I did not make the cookie, it's just a garnish cookie. Okay. What did you make today? Gochi's ice cream with a jam of figs and dates, brioche on top. And how'd you get your ice cream? I made a regular creme anglaise place, and then I just kind of temper it with liquid nitrogen. It's very ambitious. <laughs> Thank you, Byron. Thank you. I made a parfait of toasted rice mousse, blackberry caramel, and black sesame corn. Thank you, good job. So I did a crispy and burnt and brownie, toasted sesame seed, a yuzu strawberry compote with chocolate gelato. Then you made the jam? Yeah. This dessert is what I'm calling the Oregon Trail. Hazelnut cake with a smoked chanterelle pastry cream, a Pinot Noir and blueberry puree, and candied hazelnuts. It's really interesting. Thank you very much. I did a little take on my favorite dessert, which is peach pie. So you have stewed peaches, um, and you also have a little bit of like a shortbread crumb. I didn't really have time to bake a pie dough, so I wanted to give you the closest thing. Thank you. Avishar, what did you make for us? Uh, I made a buckeye bonbon with uh, brown butter and liquid graham cracker. I'm from the state of Ohio, and the state dish is actually called a buckeye. Tell me about your layers. I wanted to go layers in one bite, so on the inside is going to be the gelato. Uh, on the outside, the liquid graham cracker, coated it with a layer of salted uh, peanuts and dark chocolate. I'm impressed with how cold and intact these are. Yeah, thank you. I made a arroz con leche meets Puerto Rico with plantains that I fried 
This is a big dessert. I don't know how to cook for two people, I'm sorry. <laughs> I prepared a smoked whipped yogurt with matcha miso crumbles and uh, yuzu kiwi on top. I think the tartness is nice. Thank, Thank you. you, Shoda. I made a matcha dusted cream puff, grilled strawberries, and whipped cream with miso. It's good. Your pot she worked out. I rushed. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So, Carrie, who had one of our least favorite dishes? Brittany, your gingerbread trifle. We found it quite sweet. And with 45 minutes, I want that cookie to be made by you. Who else? Kiki. That unbaked pie dough was just a little unpalatable. Her. Who else? Maria with your rose con leche. Your flavors were excellent. It was just so big. Who had one of our favorite dishes? Byron, with the goat cheese ice cream. Excellent flavors. Goat cheese ice cream gave you a tartness that felt like another layer. Thank you. Another one of our favorites today was Abishar, with your Buckeye bonbon. Everyone gave us flat layers, and you changed your shape. I love that there was a crunch to the enrobed chocolate. Thank you. Who else, Carrie? Sarah. With 45 minutes, I'm so glad you took the chance to bake something. And it came out well. Thank you. OK, Carrie, who had our favorite dessert of the day? The chef today, with the winning dessert, just really pushed the limits. And that chef today was Abishar. Congratulations, Abishar. You just won immunity and $10,000 from our friends at Talenti Gelato. And if that wasn't enough, your dish's recipe will be used to inspire a brand new flavor of Talenti layers. Yay! <laughs>